welcome back YouTube. We have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about one of the best ways to store and backup your data. To show you this, I will introduce you to the Synology DS220J. This is an entry-level network attached storage designed for home and personal users to store photos, videos, and documents. But the question is, what is a network attached storage or NAS? and why would you ever need one? Using a network attached to storage is a lot more practical, accessible, and cost-efficient way to store and backup your data than relying on multiple external hard drives, flash memories, or paying a monthly subscription for a cloud storage. So let's see why it's time to consider switching to NAS and why Synology is one of the best NAS devices in the market. But before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. So why the network attached storage is a really cool idea. Think of this scenario. You have a personal desktop, a laptop, and the workstation, each device of these belongs to a different person in your family. As the time goes by, your data is getting bigger and you are all running out of space. That's when the network attached storage will come into play. First, it will allow you to have one centralized storage to share with everyone in your household. You can assign a specific amount of storage to each person with different access privileges to avoid anyone to mess around with others' data. Second, all of you will be able to access the stored data through the home Wi-Fi network or remotely via the internet from any Android, iOS, Mac, or Windows devices, which is exactly the same as any cloud storage. But what about the external hard drives and the flash memories? In this case, each one of you will end up purchasing their own hard drive, which is more expensive than getting one big hard drive that can take all your data. Secondly, you will not be able to access your data remotely, which means you have to carry your external hard drive with you everywhere. And if you forgot it or lost it one day, you are out of luck. Third, when you run out of space again, you might purchase even more external drives and your files will be scattered around heaps of external hard drives which will make it harder for you to locate your files. And because of that, the network attached to storage is a win. The other option you have is the cloud storage subscription. Yes, it will give you remote access to your data. Storage can be shared with your family members, but there are two problems here. First, recurring payments, which is expensive in the long run. It can reach up to $120 a year for only two terabytes of storage. And once you stop paying, you will lose your data. Then you will realize that you paid all this money without owning anything at the end. Second problem is the privacy. Having your data stored on your own storage system is better for your privacy than having it handled by a third party. And that's why the network attached storage is also a win over the cloud storage. Now let's see why Synology is the best choice when it comes to network attached storage. First thing is the software. Setting up my DS220J was extremely easy. All I needed to do is to connect it to my router, go to find.synology.com to start the Synology Assistant, pick a name for my server, pick a username and the password to create my first user. Then I kept everything on the default settings and that's it. I'm ready to use my NAS. During the installation process, you will be asked to activate the quick connect feature, which I do recommend because this feature will allow you to remotely access your storage. And if you missed it in the initial setup, you still can activate it later from the control panel. Once the setup finishes, it will automatically take you to the software page that allows you to manage your Synology storage. It's called DSM or Disk Station Manager. You can access it anytime, anywhere by going to quickconnect.2 forward slash, then put the name of the server you set earlier and the user credentials you created, login, and here you have it. With Synology, you get amazing software packages that will help you get the most out of your storage. So let me show you the best ones. Click on Package Center, which is something like the app store you have on your mobile. And the first one I recommend installing is called Moments. Moments is a package that can allow you to backup and sync your photos and videos from your computer, mobile phone, or tablet to your Synology and get access to all of them from all your devices which is pretty much the same as syncing your photos with iCloud and sign 
even with the same Apple ID on all your devices. Moments will automatically organize your photos based on places, dates, or people, which is like Google Photos and iOS Photos apps. So let me show you a demo. After installing Moments app on my Synology, I will create another user by going to the control panel, then user, then click on create, and let's name it my son. I will give him a limit of 50 GB, and make sure he has access to the Moments app. Then he will need to download Synology Moments app either from the Play Store or App Store. Once you open the app, it will ask you for the server name, the account username, and the password. So he's gonna put the Quick Connect ID I created earlier, the username and password I created specifically for him. Once the sign-in is successful, you will be presented with the backup or the automatic backup screen where you can choose to backup all your photos, backup only the new photos from now on, use only Wi-Fi or backup using data as well. So let's say I'm gonna choose backup all photos, upload on Wi-Fi only, and I'm gonna hit enable photo backup. After waiting for some time, I started to see the photos from my photo gallery in the Moments app, and now the application has started to organize my photos based on places I have here, like Bali, Limbungan, Kuta, and other places I visited. So it's automatically happening in the background. Just keep it connected to the Wi-Fi, and you will get the same experience you are expecting from uh, uh, apps like Google Photos or iOS Photos apps. Another cool package here is called Video Station. This will convert your Synology to a media streaming device. Just head over again to your package center, look for the Video Station package and install it. Then go to File Station app to start uploading some movies to your Synology. You can use the automatically created folder called Video or create your own if you want to. But I will go with the default one anyways. Then I'm gonna hit upload, select the movies I want and give it some time to finish. Then you can delete these movies from your internal storage to save some space. Once it's done, open the Video Station app, then go to settings to select the source for your movies. In this case, I'm gonna point it towards the video folder I used earlier. The Video Station package will give you tons of other options. First, you can set parental controls on certain videos by choosing the user, the videos you want to restrict for that user, and lock them with a pin code. Secondly, you can use it with a digital TV dongle to stream and record live TV, but I will pass this one because I don't have any of these. Third, you can set privileges for each user by allowing or disallowing DTV control, casting media using AirPlay or any DLNA device like Chromecast or Miracast, and finally, the public sharing. Under advanced, you can allow video station to fetch the TV shows or movies information from the tvdb.com or any other service you want by using an API key provided by the source. It will also download the subtitles automatically for you from opensubtitles.com by adding your account credentials and choose the languages you want. By setting all of this, you will have a properly organized media library with all the information you need. Then you can download the client app on your iOS or Android device to enjoy watching your movies on them, or even cast your media to your TV screen using Apple TV, Chromecast, or Miracast. Here I have the Fast and the Furious 8 movie uploaded to my Synology, and now I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi network in my home, so I can cast my movie to the Chromecast. As you see here, my Chromecast is appearing as living room TV. Or I can play it straight away on my mobile phone by hitting the play button. And you can choose your default uh, player. In this case, it will be Google Photos. And now I'm directly streaming my movie from my network attached storage and as you see it, it has no lag it works perfectly well let's also try that on the internet so as you see here it's working perfectly well that's a 1080p movie and it's a blu-ray so here i have my wi-fi turned off now and i'm on lte i'm gonna open the same movie one more time to test if it's gonna work properly as well over the internet or not It's taking longer than Wi-Fi, of course, but still works well. So let me put it in full screen. And here you go. I'm gonna seek forward a little bit. So as you see, there is no lag. The quality of the image is perfect. No issues here. Now you have your own storage where you can stream 
the media out of it from anywhere in the world. There is also a package for your music called DS Audio. It works exactly the same as DS Video, but for your music. One more package called Synology Drive. It's the same as any cloud storage you get from Google, Apple, or Dropbox, where you can create folders and upload to them anything you want from any device because it also has an equivalent app for iOS and Android. With Synology Drive, you can edit or create Excel sheets, Word documents, or PowerPoint presentations using its integrated Synology Office package, and your changes will reflect immediately on all your devices. You can also activate collaboration on any document you want, so multiple users can apply changes on the same document at the same time, which is perfect for meetings in case you do your work from home. One more thing worth mentioning, if you are planning to get a hard drive for your network attached to storage, I do recommend the Seagate IronWolf models because they are made specifically for NAS. They are designed to work 24-7 without issues, they can handle the demand of multiple users at the same time, they have little to no noise or vibration, and they are also tested and approved by leading NAS manufacturers like Synology. Now you know why the network attached to storage is one of the best ways to store and backup your data, and why Synology is one of the best in the market. And if you are planning to get one for your home, I do recommend the DS220J because it has a cheap price tag compared to other models and it has tons of software features that will get you covered. So that's pretty much it. That was my review for the Synology DS220J and its features. I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.